I was just going to quickly talk to you about this today. This is the piece that I've called my cameo piece because when I worked around these edges here, it kind of looked like it was forming into some sort of cameo. And that wasn't my intention, but you know, you'd sometimes these things happen and you think, oh, that's amazing. So I'm so happy with this one especially because I haven't done any extra embellishment on there. Anyway, I keep showing it on my blog and I'm sure you think, oh, she's just showing us that over and over again. There's nothing different about it. But there is, trust me, like in this one, I've added some bullion knots. Um, I've put mirrors on. There's a mirror there that wasn't there the other day and a mirror there. And there's bullion knots in these tiny little cameo things here. I'll try and, I don't know, I don't want it to blur. But that was a little tiny cameo with no colouring. And I've put bullion knots in there. And then again there and up there so I am working on it all the time and it's a painstakingly slow process but that isn't a problem to me I, that's what I like about it you know and this one down here I've done some kind of like a cameo thing going on here but I like this one especially because there's a little kind of fragment of thread going across the center of that I hope you can see that you see the white going across there I'll bring it a bit closer there so you know i mean every time i do something on here i notice something different and then the edge of course i finished that edge now although it needs damp stretched i haven't damp stretched it yet and don't forget when this is finished it's not going to have all this it's going to be there okay and there you know so when it's finished that edge won't look silly it won't look like it's just stuck on the end so and then like you may remember on the blog yesterday i was saying i wanted to make something new and i had to think about it and i've just enjoyed working with these little snippets of color so much and i do like doing this and i need to be doing more of this for my extended embellishment class that starts in just over a week so i've got some got some silk here i'm just going to put quickly put one of them together but just just kind of quickly say to you this is an embroidered vintage cloth but look this was going in the rag bag somewhere and um, i rescued it because look at all the usable cloth on here all this beautiful embroidery and then even this edge i will use this edge and i was going to show you how i would use that edge okay now what i'm going to do is keep the colored sections the things like i've just shown you but then we've got a lot of spare edge here so what i would do with that so i'll just cut this off and tell you what I would do with that and I don't want to make this video too long because I don't want to send you all to sleep but I will literally just cut it there because I want to keep some cloth around these embroidered flowers here so I can use them in other things so I'll literally just take this edge off everything's usable on here so wonderful I think it cost me about 20p which is maybe 50 cents so there I've got an edge and all I've got to do is turn it over and hem it and I've got an edge there for something so you know I don't throw anything away it's all usable so what I'm going to do I'm probably not going to do the whole thing now because as I say the video I don't want to send you to sleep but I've got a strip of silk here a long thin strip of silk okay and I absolutely love these little flowers here okay so I'm going to use these in my next piece and I'm not going to cut from the bottom because I don't want to cut this edge off because I'll, I'll use that edge again I want to keep it on there, it's safer there, I won't lose it because I'm the queen of losing stuff. So okay this looks a bit raggy where these flowers are because it's where a rip is but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to cut them out because I can stitch over them when I get it on this bit of silk. So I'm not really not going to stress about that. So I just cut them out and then separate them so I've got three okay and I'm literally initially just going to pin them on here I'm going to leave enough outside space for hemming or edge treatments if I want to do anything like that and then this will form a sample for the class that starts and I'm not giving too much away because people have paid for that class but just to show you and I don't want to do them one two three four I hate doing anything predictable like that if I just go back to this one the sort of the really very randomly placed if you think about this one there's a big one there and a big one there and then there's a couple of little ones you know I don't have a sense of order in this kind of thing and that isn't what I want I don't want a sense of order okay because this will all get integrated and I don't actually want them all the same size either so I'm going to cut this one I'm going to cut the top off that one the raggy top and cut a bit off the bottom of that one because I don't want them all the same size I kind of try my best never to have 
things uniform in situations like this. So that's three pinned on and I'll continue to do that with the whole piece before I stitch on top to secure them. On this, there's another surface going on on here, on this one, that isn't on this one. Um, and that's something we do in that class, so I'm not going to tell you about that. But this one will just have the silk. I'm not going to put that other surface on top of here, um, but it'll still, it'll still work. So possibly you're going to be seeing a lot of this over the next week or so, because this will be what I'm working on. Okay, so I hope that cleared that up for you. I'm not just coming back with the same bit of work and not amending it. I am adding to it and I am bringing new stuff in the images. You know, you might have to look closely to notice that, but trust me, it is different stuff when I do a, another blog post.